Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here. And in today's video, I'm actually going to show you what to do with the void eggs that we can get. And so it's a new curiosity that's being sold on the Space Anomaly, and it's pretty cool. So, if you don't know what the void egg is, or if you don't know how to get them, all you have to do is go to the Space Anomaly, land over here, and you have to go to the Quicksilver Robot right here. Let's create an exotic item. And there we go. We have it unlocked, but you need 3,200 Quicksilver for it, which is crazy, but it's really important. So I would say definitely get it if you can. So, whoop, I already have a couple of them in my inventory right here. Let's do this. Boom, right there. So I got two of them already in my inventory. I got them over the weekend after doing the weekend event. But yeah, once you get them, what you need to do is get into your starship. And we have to actually go into space. Because in order for the, uh, the void eggs to trigger, you have to warp. Let's go into space. And there are a whole bunch of different factors that go into this. But it's a, a random number generator. So just keep that in mind. It's a random number generator. But... We go out here and we warp. I've heard that distance kind of affects it. So the farther you go, the more likely something to happens after you uh, teleport so, or you warp. Excuse me. So let's pick, your, let's pick a good spot. We're going to go way down here. Uh, right there. Boom. What is this? That is uh, 700 light years. Let's see if this happens. Let's see what happens after we do this. So once you've actually uh, warped to a new system, it's not going to be immediate. You want to just wait for about 15 to 20 seconds. Because you have to let everything kind of load in, all of your textures, all it needs to recognize that, hey, you went to a new system. And then you should notice something, but let's see. Oh, it doesn't look like anything's happening on this one, so that's okay. We just need to warp to a whole bunch of different systems, and sometimes it can take up to eight of them, eight warps, in order for the the mission to trigger. So just keep that in mind. It could take up to eight of these, so just keep going. Please listen, Traveler. Okay, let's see what's going on here. A strange force is projecting itself into my starship systems. Its consciousness occupies my communicator and it sings a short message. 9. The Anomaly and Communication. Okay, so this is coming from the melody of the egg as you can see. And so what you want to do is you have to keep uh, warping to different systems and you will keep getting these ones. In, in, they actually go in order. You get, oh, excuse me. Let me let me read because this is really deep. You get number one is the ascending orb, two the star over water, three the ocean king, four the obscured companion, and so on and so forth. I'll put a, uh, I'll put something up on the screen right now that way you can see what they are. But you will get all of those and actually. And it's a random thing, and so you have to keep warping, and sometimes it'll take you between three and eight warps in order to get one of those random messages. And then, those, they're random, so you could get the same one over and over again, because it's a random one. But, what they are, are their coordinates. And so, number nine, the anomaly, is actually the anomaly glyph. And so you need to find a portal... And it put all those glyphs in order, and it will actually take you to where the uh, whispering or the uh, sorry, excuse me, the void eggs are from, which is pretty awesome. So let's actually check that out. So go find a portal, and I will sh join up with you guys when you get your portal, and I'll show you the glyphs that we need to input in order to be there. Oh, and another key thing. 
Everyone, you need to be in the Euclid galaxy. You need to be in that first galaxy, the starter galaxy. If you've gotten into any other galaxies, then you have to go back. So just keep that in mind. It only works in the Euclid galaxy. So once you have found your portal, you're going to need to import input these coordinates. So you have to come over here to the portal. Um, stone, I guess. Over here, you gotta get it, and you have to have all of your. I would recommend having all of the the glyphs unlocked, but you're only gonna need the glyphs specific for this one. But it's just easier just to have them all unlocked. That way, you don't have to worry about oh, I missed one or whatever. So we're gonna activate it, and remember, the number one was the ascending orb. So that is actually what we've been calling the hot air balloon. It's technically called the Ascending Orb. Then it's going to be the Star Over Water, which looks like a sunset. So we got that one right, right? Then the Ocean King, which of course would be the whale. So let's pop. Whoop, where's the whale at? There you are right there. Then we're going to have to get the Obscured Companion. Which looks like the moon. Yep, it looks like the uh, half moon shape right here. Obscured companion. The uh, star over water, number five. So the sunset again. Then it is the reflection, number six. So that is what it's called, the reflection. The weird face looking thing. It's called the Reflection. All right. Then it is the Vessel to Beyond, which is the rocket ship. There you go, the starship. Then it is the Ocean King again, so another whale. And then we're going to the Anomaly, which is... Oh, that's the Trivial Pursuit. That is what the Anomaly symbol is. It's the Trivial Pursuit symbol. Got it. Then the Spiral of Reality, which is the black hole. And then you're going to need the Ascending Orb again. The uh, hot air balloon. And then last one is the Ancient Giant, which is the big dinosaur. So this is going to be it. Either pause it right here. I would say pause it, take a screenshot, whatever you need to do. These are the coordinates you need to go to. And remember, we need to be in Euclid. You need to be in the starter galaxy, okay? Because if you do this in any other galaxy, you are not going to go to the right planet. So let's go over here and let's go through the portal. And of course, everyone is going to be here. Holy cow. Of course, everybody uh, in the world is here. Wow. Yep. Good lord. Yep. Good lord. There is a lot of stuff going on here. So. Now, it might be a little bit different. Like, I've heard that on PlayStation 4, there's actually some uh, jerk decided to build on the, the portal. And so you might be stuck underground. That's okay. You can dig your way out or you can walk forward and kind of glitch your way back up to the surface. But... Whatever you do, try to get into your starship, because once you do, you'll notice something. Please listen, Traveler. And so you you need to use your starship communicator to get the rest of the mission. A strange force is projecting itself into my starship systems. Its consciousness occupies my communicator, and it sings a short message. Find us. Find us on the lonely orb of water. Find us where north reaches its peak. Find us where the eggs grow unloved. Find us. So, from what I gather, that is the North Pole. We have to go to a planet in the system, the only planet with water, and we have to go to the North Pole. So, let's actually go around. Because I believe that the planet you land on is the planet you have to be on. But let's check just in case. 
So, wow, okay, there's something over there. Blargity Blarg's base is way over there. Let's go into first person, because we can actually see. Discovered by William. I'm, not, I'm playing on PC, by the way. Waldo 3000. See, I don't think there's water on that one. And there's doesn't look like there's water on this one, but this is the water with as uh, this is a planet that has water on it. Yeah, and so it is the only one in the system that has water. And uh, how much you want to bet that is where the North Pole is? So let's check it out. All right, so I think I found it, you guys. So you see the, in the top of my screen, you see how I have a compass and it says North. Now once you get to the North Pole. It is actually going to flip over to be south because you've gone as far north as you can. See how it moved? See, I'm, I'm flying. Oh, I'm flying north. Oh, I can't even. I'm right on top of it. That's why I keep switching. So let me go this way instead. Okay, so. Now I'm flying south. You see how there's an S right there on my compass? But if I turn around, I'll find north right there. So if you keep heading north, it will eventually flip okay boom there you go so now we've met north so now we just need to find the abandoned building which I'm sure that's why they're neglected unloved eggs so now we need to find an abandoned building somewhere where is that at so we're looking for a structure around here well I think that we've gotten it I think this is the building some people have built some stuff on it, it looks like. This is, uh, Sino's base if you're on PC. And if not, if you're trying to find it the other way, go to, if you see over in the right-hand side, my coordinates right now are plus 88 and plus 14. So that's what you want to look for if you're searching for it on your uh, spacecraft, your starship. But let's go inside and see what is going on here. We have a haunted terminal. Let's get rid of this goop. And let's see. You who have found our echo. Oh, yep, this is coming from the melody of the egg. You who have found our echo. You are wise or you are lucky. Perhaps you are one, perhaps you are many. Our echo grows in strength as we ourselves grow. We will be with you soon. We will travel together. We are your friends in the dark. Watch for us in the stars. What does that mean? We are your friends in the dark. Watch for us in the stars. Something's going on here. And I believe that is it. So... That is the entire mission line so far that we found. I mean, and that wasn't even me. That was a lot of searching and some other channels have found it as well. So that is kind of a cryptic message. I think that there's going to be a new update and it's going to explain some of that. That's craziness. So good lord. Okay, so, so look for us. We're your friends in the dark. Look for us in the stars. What does that mean? I, my guess is there's going to be a new race that's coming. Has to be. There's a new race because, number one, why are they letting us buy multiple eggs? That means something's going to be going on with the eggs. I mean, they cost 3,000 uh, Quicksilver, so they're really expensive. And you could buy a lot of eggs, which is crazy. So, I don't know what's going on with them, but there's going to be something with the eggs. Like, you're going to be able to use them in some fashion and I think it's because there's gonna be a new race that they're gonna announce with an update but hey if you have a different opinion let me know down in the comments below let me know what you think what's gonna be and uh, thank you for watching hopefully you guys liked the video if you did hit that like button for me and if you want to see more subscribe to the channel I'm uploading videos all the time and I'll see you guys next time